heat advisory for the following areas in Washington, foothills of the Blue Mountains, Lower Columbia Basin, and Yakima Valley. Heat advisory in effect from noon today to 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time Wednesday. What? Temperatures from 98 to 105 expected each afternoon through early evening. Where? In Washington, Kittitas Valley, Yakima Valley, Lower Columbia Basin of Washington, and foothills of the Blue Mountains of Washington. In Oregon, Lower Columbia Basin of Oregon. When? From noon today to 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time Wednesday. Impacts. Hot temperatures may cause heat-related illnesses to occur. Drink plenty of fluids, stay in an air-conditioned room, stay out of the sun, and check up on relatives and neighbors. Young children and pets should never be left unattended in vehicles under any circumstances. Take extra precautions if you work or spend time outside. When possible, reschedule strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Know the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing when possible. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911. Heat advisory for the following area in Oregon, East Columbia River Gorge, and in Washington, East Columbia River Gorge, heat advisory in effect from noon Tuesday to 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time Wednesday. What? Temperatures from 98 to 102 expected each afternoon through early evening. Where? In Washington, Eastern Columbia River Gorge of Washington and Simcoe Islands. In Oregon, Eastern Columbia River Gorge of Oregon. When? From noon Tuesday to 8 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time Wednesday. Impacts. Hot temperatures may cause heat illnesses to occur. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay in an air-conditioned room. Stay out of the sun. And check up on relatives and neighbors. Young children and pets should never be left unattended in vehicles under any circumstances. Take extra precautions if you work or spend time outside. When possible, reschedule strenuous activities to early morning or evening. Know the signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Wear lightweight and loose-fitting clothing when possible. To reduce risk during outdoor work, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration recommends scheduling frequent rest breaks in shaded or air-conditioned environments. Anyone overcome by heat should be moved to a cool and shaded location. Heat stroke is an emergency. Call 911.